This game is called Leftovers. It's from Do the Math Division Module A. So in order to play this game, you're going to need a number cube, a one to six number cube, which is the red number cube. And you're gonna need 15 tiles. 15 tiles, because we're dividing 15. And um, we need a cup to store the tiles. So you'll also need six pieces of paper and a pencil. So I've cut up those pieces of paper. But in order to play, what you'll do is you have 15 tiles. The player takes a turn. We're going to have player A and player B. So two players. You're going to roll the number cube. So we got a three. And you pass out three sheets of paper, or you set out three sheets of paper. So we're dividing our 15 tiles into groups of three. So you have the students just divide them, share the tiles equally from the cup. You can keep them in the cup. Two, one for you, one for you. And this isn't a great example because we do not have any leftovers, which is the name of our game. But our division um, problem then is 15 divided in between three people, or we could say three uh, places, is going to be 5. All right, so we'll write that equation. 15 divided into three groups equals 5, okay, with no leftovers. So let's return the tiles to the cup. And we'll have player B take a turn. Okay, two. So we have two pieces of paper that we put out, or two groups that we're splitting our tiles into. And we're going to split them so each one now has five, each one has six. 7 and 7, and then I have 1 left over. So the 1 left over remains in the cup, as you can see. So our problem is 15 tiles divided into 2 groups is 7 with a remainder in our cup of 1. So 15 tiles divided into 2 groups equals 7 in each group with a remainder of 1, or a leftover of 1. And what we want to do is continue playing this game until you get to the last turn and we count up our leftovers. Whoever has the greatest number of leftovers wins. And that's how you play the leftover game.